Hi, everybody. Welcome inside the magnificent Merrill Center in Katy, Texas, where tonight it's volleyball third round playoff region three quarterfinals in class 6a your ridge point panther girls taking on the tompkins falcons two outstanding teams and something's got to give here tonight tompkins comes in at 35 and 5 they won 16 straight they defeated fort bend austin and stratford to get to this third round ridge point swept tompkins way back on august 20th but that's probably not relevant at this point we're going to step aside real quick and be back with the starting lineups and tell you more to get you ready for this magnificent epic playoff match between these rich point panthers and the topkins falcons here on vipefortmen.com i'm roger smith glad you're with us we'll be right back Amazing deal on awesome internet. You work hard, so you deserve the good things in life. Like getting an amazing deal on awesome internet. That's why there's never been a better time to switch to Xfinity. Get the fast and reliable internet you deserve for $19.99 a month for 12 months with a one-year contract. And for the first time ever, ask how to get 12 times the speed for the same internet price when you add Xfinity Mobile. Just imagine, faster downloads, more streaming, the possibilities are endless. That's more speed and more value for the same price. Oh yeah, and for a limited time, ask how to get $300 back. So what are you waiting for? Sign up now, because you deserve awesome internet. Go to Xfinity.com, call 1-800-XFINITY, or visit a store today. Requires paperless billing and auto pay, ends 11 21, 21. Restrictions apply. New connect internet 50 megabits per second customers only. Equipment, taxes, and fees extra, and subject to change. After term, regular rates apply. Archer Volkswagen showroom is open, and our team's excited to help you. Visit our sales department Monday through Saturday from 9 a.m. to 9 p.m. Or bring your car in for service from 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. Monday through Friday, and Saturdays from 9 a.m. to 2 p.m. We're closed on Sundays to rest and recharge with our families, so we can serve you well through the week. We hope to see you soon. Hi, this is Mariela and Melina coming to you from Nick's Italian Restaurant where you can come and try one of our house specialties, the Nick's Shrimp or one of our chicken pistachios. Not in the mood for food? You can also try one of our savory desserts like our homemade tiramisu or cannoli. We're located on FM 1464 just north of Austin High School. Can't sign in? You can call ahead at 346-401-1546 seven days a week from 11 a.m. to 10 p.m. Or you can hit us on one of the major delivery platforms, Uber, Grubhub, or DoorDash. We look forward to seeing you here at Nick's Italian Restaurant, where our family gets bigger every time you stop by. VibeFortBend.com broadcasts of Fort Bend County High School Sports are brought to you by Xfinity, the future of awesome. By First Tyron Automotive, make sure your vehicles are in shape for the fall. First Tyron Automotive has four great locations, including First Colony, Katy Cinco Ranch, Great Wood, and on Eldridge Road in Sugarland. All of those locations open Monday through Saturday. For the best prices on tires, go to FirstTyronAuto.com by Nick's Italian Restaurant on FM 1464 in Sugarland. They're just a few hundred feet north of Austin High School. At Nick's Italian Restaurant, their family gets bigger every time you stop by. By Archer Volkswagen on the southbound side of Highway 59, just inside the Sam Houston Tollway, open since 1956 and ready to serve you. You'll feel like family at Archer Volkswagen. By the Needville Insurance Agency, Bradley Stavanaugh and his team are your hometown trusted agents. They know how to shop those carriers and get you the very best rate on your home and car insurance. You will find that best rate with the Needville Insurance Agency. Call 979-793-7411 or you can visit needvilleinsurance.com. You don't have to go to Needville. They'll do it all online, all over the phone, whatever makes you happy to get the best rate with the Needville Insurance Agency, home of your hometown trusted agents. They're introducing the Katie Tompkins Falcons, and you might not be hearing quite as much crowd noise as you're going to hear later on simply because 
Well, it's a five o'clock start. Of course, uh, I'm really glad that we didn't start it right at five. It would have been hard to get ready in that case. But these Rich Point Panther girls are ranked 16th in the state if you go by the Texas Girls Coaches Association poll. Now, Tompkins had a number nine preseason ranking, and right now they're at number nine. So they have probably dropped down a little bit and then moved back up with that gaudy record of 33 and five. Make it 35 and five, sorry about that. And I also want to thank Butch Hart of that Texas Girls Coaches Association. He puts together all the data that goes into the poll and he was able to tell me that Ridge Point is at 16, even though their website only reveals nine teams, or rather 10 teams. Dawson, 39 and four, might be the one who awaits the winner of this match. And right now, Dawson is ranked third in the state at 39 and four. Cy Ranch, which plays in region two, is in the Houston area, yet ranked 39 and three. They are the fourth spot, College Park, out of the Woodlands, also in region two. They're 30 and three and ranked sixth. Number eight, it's Klein, who was the state runner-up last year. They lost to Seven Lakes in the state championship match. Klein is 35 and eight, and Tompkins right behind them at number nine, 33 and five. The Ridge Point Panther girls are wearing their dark gray jerseys with the white numerals and letters outlined in purple, black shorts. Over on the Tompkins side, they have the navy blue shorts and jersey tops as well as the very deep red numerals outlined in white. We are at the magnificent Merrill Center. It's a great place to watch volleyball. It's a different perspective for me because usually when I call a match, I'm at one end or the other. But right now I am from the side, so there are certain things I will see better, certain things I won't see quite as well. By the way, some of you folks from Ridge Point might be fighting the traffic and trying to get here. And if you've tuned in to see how this match starts out, we thank you very much. We just love doing volleyball. It's one of the greatest sports, and if anybody hasn't discovered it, they are certainly missing out. Ridge Point has Kennedy Rogers, Alexis Robertson, Kayla Wilson, Nyla Raspberry, Sydney Jordan, and Nina Moore on the floor to start this match off. They will serve first with Nina Moore, best of five. You'll go to 25 in the first four games. Moore unloads, and now here comes Katie Tompkins on the attack, and the spike is off of the Ridge Point block and down. Hitting that one was Tendai Titley. And in this first game, it is one to nothing Tompkins. One thing about the Merrill Center, I can't say anything negative about it except just one little thing. It seems like the ball gets away a lot and sometimes we'll have delays where they chase it down. Now serving is Paris Herman. Bumped up by Rogers. Moore can't get a fist on it and direct it back towards the court. It flies into the Ridge Point crowd, but no worries, it's just two to nothing. I was wondering about the five o'clock start time. I know Ridge Point is not, um, they're not nervous, I know that. But speaking of nervous, Paris Herman just flied the serve out of bounds and a point to the Panthers. They're now within two to one. And you know, as soon as I was saying something about the early start and you know how that kind of, I was about to say it might be a shock to the system, I looked over at Lauren Bailey, Ridge Point's head coach. She was looking at her watch, probably thinking, Wow, did we start early? Did we start on time? All right, Nina Moore is bumping it up. Kayla Wilson fires, goes deep, cannot get it to go down, and now Katie Tompkins on the attack, and they get a winner. Cindy Changwa hit it off Ridge Point fingertips right at the net. One other Panther got a hand on it, just barely tipping it. And so it is back to a top serve and in libero, Brooklyn Merrill, daughter of the head coach, Allison Merrill. Moorer, now Raspberry, and just getting it over to Sydney Jordan. Here comes Tompkins attacking from the middle. They're blocked down. Point to the Panthers. Sydney Changwa, a great player, but that time Ridge Point said, not so fast, my friend. Tompkins three, Ridge Point two, and Nyla Raspberry, the senior, will serve for the Panthers. She wears the libero jersey. Crowd starting to get bigger every single minute as people file in. 
Uh, there's a gentle spike, and it works for number 14, Skylar Skrobonik. And Skrobonik, after getting that winner, sits right down. It's 4-2, to two, Tompkins on top. And the Falcons will serve again. It'll be Presley Powell. Powell lets it go with her feet still on the floor. Bumped up by Lauren Battle, who just joined the game. Sydney Jordan with a bang down spike. Set up beautifully by Raspberry, and as Ridgepoint gets the serve back, trailing four to three, it's McKenna Manthe who comes onto the court. Anthony looked like she was going to serve from the middle of the baseline. Now she steps over a little bit, lets it go. Nice sinker ball, but it will be returned by Tompkins. Here they go. They send it all the way to the back where Lauren Battle gets it airborne. Now Manthe sets it up for Jordan, and it's a two-hand tap over the net by Tompkins, but called for a lift is Kristen Saba. Point to the Panthers, and it's 4-4. Four to four. The Ridgepoint Panther cheerleaders are here. I'm sure the Tompkins girls cheerleaders will be here, but they're not here yet. And Manthe flies the serve over the baseline. By the way, in our football coverage, Ridgepoint and Travis, this past Friday night, McKenna Manthe was our halftime guest. And the other halftime guest was Calvin Harvey, injured offensive lineman. By the way, it's going to be the Panthers against Seven Lakes Thursday night. We'll have it live for you on VitePortBend.com as we open the football playoffs. Ridgepoint sends back the serve, and now Tompkins attacking and a very gentle tap over the net. Ridgepoint handles it. Manthe sets up more, and down the left sideline, in there for a winner. And it's 5-5. Five to five. Sydney Jordan, 6'3", junior, ready to serve. Spins the ball, looks over at Coach Bailey, gets the signal and lets it go. Sends it very deep. Tompkins returns it with Paris Herman. Now it's going to be Manthe setting up more. She goes deep to the middle of the baseline, and it's dug out nicely by Shangwa. And there's a winner, actually, for uh, Ridgepoint. I thought it was going to be a winner for, for Tompkins off the hit of Paris Herman, but there was a double hit on the Tompkins side, and now it's 6-5, Ridgepoint. Jordan serves again. Bumped up by Brooklyn Merrill. And there's a deep shot that Ridgepoint cannot return, and we're tied at six. Sydney Jordan flying toward her own bench with a dive to try and get it going back the other way. Tendai Titley will now serve for Tompkins. She lets it go with a lot of top spin on it. Manthe sets it up. Now it is Kennedy Rogers, the freshman, who kind of mishit it, but it did get within the boundary. And there is a bang down spike but a net violation against Tompkins as Cindy Changwa made the big swing, but she hit the net. That gives Ridgepoint a 7-6 lead. Now Arissa Smith is into the match for the first time. She serves from the left corner. Spins it. Leaps as she lets it fly. Gets a lot of air under it. Now Tompkins will attack. Here's the big swing. Bumped back by Ridgepoint. Paris Herman almost got a winner there. Here's a little tap over try by Kristen Saba, but Ridgepoint handles it. Jordan from the middle, and she fires it wide, out of bounds on the left side, right in front of the Tompkins bench. And we're tied at 7-all. I have a feeling we're going to be here a long, long time. If it goes to a fifth set, that fifth set is to 15 points, not 25. Erica Daleski serving for Tompkins. Now Moore goes diagonal. Dug out nicely by Daleski. Now here comes Tompkins. Their return goes off the top of the net. Now Moore is going to fire away again, and that's down. Nina Moore. She's a senior. The other seniors are Raspberry, Manthe, Allison Anaya, Kayla Wilson, and Alexis Robertson. And it is Moorer who served. Just a bump over by Madison Gundry of Tompkins. And Alexis Robertson goes to the right corner, pasting it down perfectly. 
And it's 9-7, Ridge Point enjoying a two-point lead for the first time during this match. Moore serving again, it goes deep to the middle. Tompkins sends it over to the right side of their offense. And Paris Herman cannot quite get it down. Raspberry, now it's Kayla Wilson who flies one over the left sideline. Nearly hits the Tompkins players who are seated at the bench. Nine-eight, Tompkins trailing and serving with Paris Herman. Raspberry bumps it up. Moore tries to tap it over and she hit the red and white stick, sometimes called the pin, sometimes called the antenna on the right side and we're tied at nine. Here goes Herman's serve. Rogers, Moore, Robertson blocked at the net and Tompkins digs it out. Here they come again on the attack. Spike attempt by Changua. Ridge Point handles it now. Kennedy Rogers gets the point for Ridge Point. She spiked it, it went long, but because it was deflected by Tompkins. And it's 10 to nine Panthers. Now Lauren Battle comes on. Now it's Battle, Moore, Jordan, Raspberry, Kayla Wilson, and Alexis Robertson. Battle flies it from the middle. Knuckleball serve. Tompkins coming back with it. Changla. Now it's a little bit of an overset and Changwa puts that away, or does she? It is out! She had one of those easy overset putaways, but she missed the left sideline. A break for the Panthers and they lead it 11 to nine. Battle dribbles the ball with two hands, serves with her feet on the floor, goes deep middle. Dileski sets one up, but Tompkins unable to finish it. Sydney Jordan is tapping it at the net. She was blocked. Now a little pinball exchange between the teams. And Tompkins flies a spike long, but it's off Ridge Point fingertips, just like that earlier point. So that one goes to the Falcons, and it's 11 to 10. And Ridge Point did not argue the call whatsoever. Merrill ready to serve. There it goes, left sideline, battle, now Moore. Now Alexis Robertson. She got the optimum height. She had the perfect timing with Moore's set, and that makes it 12 to 10. Raspberry will serve. Robertson takes a seat. Raspberry lets it fly, left sideline, bumped up by Merrill. Scribonic tries to get one down, but Ridge Point is there with the defense. Sydney Jordan down the left sideline. It's dug out, but the point goes to Tompkins because they say the hit was out, but I could have sworn the, the ball came off a of Tompkins forearm and never hit the floor. Anyway, Ridge Point still leads it, but only by 12 to 11. Presley Powell serves. Moore is going to set up Kayla Wilson, and she bangs it down. Trying to dig it out while falling backward was Brooklyn Merrill. Manthe off the bench comes in for Kayla Wilson, and McKenna will serve. Manthe tosses the ball up, and now Tompkins on the attack. They can't get much on it, but they do get a winner anyway from Kristen Saba. She couldn't really swing, she just had to tap it and it happened to find an open spot. Ridge Point leading, but only 13 to 12. Changwa will serve. Everybody who's served so far is a right-hander, but we got a whistle. And one of the officials, referee two, is holding up four fingers. And I guess that's... Uh, too many players in the four court. And we're tied at 13. When we get a timeout, and neither team has taken one after 26 points, I'd kind of like to describe what I think will make a difference later on in this match, and it regards football players. Moorer sends it over to Jordan. She just has to bump it over, didn't get a chance to slam it. There's a little tap over try. Does not work. Sydney Jordan, she is blocked at the net. 
Now here comes Tompkins attacking again. Big swing by Changwa. Well, whomever it was, I was obstructed. Whomever it was, she committed a, a violation, and it's 14-13 Ridge Point. I think it was Paris Herman after further review. So Jordan served. Merrill dug it out. Now Ridge Point attacking. Manthe back set for Moore. She goes way wide, and it is down on the left sideline from an impossible angle. Impossible, except that uh, Nina Moore is very talented. And it's 15 to 13. So August 20th, way back when in a match that we broadcasted for you. Rich Point swept Tompkins, but that has little to do with what happens tonight. Merrill now digs it out. And a back set for Kristen Saba, and she fires it long. Another point to the Panthers, and for the first time in this game one, they're up by three points. It's 16 to 13. Timeout Tompkins. We'll take it with them. This is VikeFortBend.com. Hello, I'm Gary Horn with Horn Solutions. We agree with energy analysts that the energy market has stabilized. We anticipate significant merger and acquisition activity. Good resources are scarce. Horn Solutions is positioned to assist you in accounting, finance, IT, and supply chain. Our staff can assist you with outsourcing, or we can supply you with resources to join your staff. Visit hornsolutions.net for details. Gary Horn is a highly successful businessman who has made a huge impact in people's lives, and he loves what he does for a living. That's a big reason why Gary Horn and Horn Solutions support Get a Great Gig. Get a Great Gig is a free job search consultation service that will help you find a job you love, whether it's to make more money or get personal fulfillment in the career of your choice. Email them at getagreatgig at gmail.com or on Twitter at getgreatgigs. Sydney Jordan ready to serve with the Panthers up 16 to 13. Bumped by Merrill and bumped out of bounds. A bad miss hit. And it's 17-13. By the way, Allison Merrill, head coach of Tompkins, is married to Mr. Merrill, who is the son of the, the wonderful man for whom this great building was named. So his father-in-law is the guy they named the Merrill Center for. There is a big swing and a winner for Paris Herman. She was blocked at the net, but it fell on the Ridge Point side. Cuts the lead to 17 to 14, and now Tompkins gets the serve back. They send in Tendai Titley. Spins it and lets it go. Raspberry, Manthe. Now Kennedy Rogers just has to send it over with two hands gently. Now here comes Tompkins, a skirmish at the net, and it's a Ridge Point winner. Kristen Saba was kind of in no girl's land. There was really nothing she could do as the ball was slightly overset. She was just kind of hoping that it might land out of bounds, but it was a winner for Ridge Point. They lead 18-14, and Arissa Smith is ready to serve again. There it goes. Hump back serve. Now the setup by Presley Powell. Ridge Point handles it, but there's a whistle. And some kind of violation. I did not see the official signal. I don't know what Tompkins did wrong. All I know is it's a 19-14 Ridge Point lead. Arissa Smith banging on the volleyball. Now she'll let it fly again. Little drop shot just got in. Powell back set for Saba, and that's a winner. She went diagonal from the extreme right side of the offense, looking for the deep left corner. And she found it. It's 19-15. Erica Daleski serves with her feet on the floor. Sydney Jordan now to Manthe. Now Robertson. No stopping that one. I don't get to watch every volleyball team in the state. So I can't really say any superlatives, but I would... I think you'd have a hard time finding anyone who is so devastating and so good at the quick set bang down spike as Alexis Robertson. That makes it 20 to 15. Moore sends it deep to the middle, now bumped up. Now Presley Powell back sets it, and that's gonna be a wild 
dig attempt off of Ridge Point forearms and it flies out. And credit that winner to, uh, I'm sorry, I believe I just lost track. It wasn't Changwa. I think it might have been Paris Herman. I apologize for not catching that. Bumped up by Jordan. Moore is going to set it up for Kayla Wilson, who slams it off a Tompkins block. It flies out of bounds. Point to the Panthers. They're at 21 to 16. Lauren Battle will go back and serve. This has been a very fast-paced match, and I haven't had a chance to tell you the, uh, the football factor here. There's a big swing by Changwa, blocked at the net by Robertson, who sends it to Moore. Now to Jordan. She swings, and she gets blocked at the net. Now there's a tap over, and we've got a violation on Tompkins. I think a net violation. Yes, indeed, it is. And it's 22 to 16, Panthers' biggest lead trying to capture game one. Lauren Battle spins it. There it goes very deep, they let it go and it's out. And it flies into a section of Tompkins students. Most of them girls, and I'm gonna go ahead and tell you why now, I guess I better hurry. On a Tuesday night during this season, the Ridge Point and George Ranch football teams were at a match that uh, was just crazy. I mean, it almost went violently crazy. All right, so the thing is, you've got Tompkins preparing for a playoff game against Travis on Thursday, and you've got Ridgepoint preparing for a playoff game against Seven Lakes. So football teams are practicing right now, and that's why we probably don't see them yet. There's another long serve by Tompkins. And it's a big break for Ridge Point. They are at 23 to 18, two points away from locking up game one. But before they do, it's another timeout, Tompkins, and we'll take it with them on FightFortBend.com. First Star and Automotive heard you were thinking of starting your holiday shopping earlier this year, so the season of giving starts now. $15 off oil changes, $100 off four tires, and save on just about any service. Head to the website firsttireandauto.com and claim your savings. First Star and Automotive, a proud sponsor of Fort Bend Vibe Sports. Make your appointment today at any of the four convenient locations in Sugarland and Cinco Ranch. All four stores open on Saturday. Firsttireandauto.com. Don't miss the UIL Volleyball State Tournament starting Wednesday, November 17th at the Curtis Colwell Center in Garland, Texas. Ticket information and more can be found at UILTexas.org. BikeFortBend.com listeners know this. If the Ridge Point girls are playing on Saturday in the Region 3 final at Sam Houston State, we will be there and bring it to you on BikeFortBend.com. It's always free to listen live. And listen later on our podcast at VitefortBend.com, your broadcast home for Rich Point Sports. Raspberry serves with the Panthers leading 23 to 18. Tompkins had a hard time getting it over. Kayla Wilson almost tapped it down, could not do it. Skirmish at the net. Now it is Raspberry setting up Jordan. She leaps and fires. Great save by Merrill, but she doesn't save it where she needs to. And it's a Rich Point point. Now we're at game point. 24 to 18, our score. Raspberry looks over at Coach Bailey, who turns her back to the opposition. Gives the signal. Here we go. Raspberry puts it in the air. Left sideline. Merrill bumps it up. Changwa now sends it over there, and Ridge Point is there with the defense on the spike. And there goes Jordan. Tipped at the net. Now Tompkins will get a chance. Changwa goes cross court. Raspberry off of her two hands and toward the Ridge Point bench. So Tompkins has fought off a game point and they're at 24 to 19. Lauren Battle comes in. Presley Powell will serve and try to help Tompkins hang on and save game one. Jordan bumps the serve in the air. Now Moore, now Kayla Wilson, she fires, she's blocked. And that's a winner for Tompkins. They get it within 24 to 20. Presley Powell 
Looks over at Coach Allison Merrill. Now sends the serve over the net. Battle. Now it's Moore. Now it's Jordan. Blocked at the net and flies out of bounds. Point Panthers and they capture game one. 25 to 20. We'll be back on VibeFortBend.com. You work hard, so you deserve the good things in life. Like getting an amazing deal on awesome internet. That's why there's never been a better time to switch to Xfinity. Get the fast and reliable internet you deserve for $19.99 a month for 12 months with a one-year contract. And for the first time ever, ask how to get 12 times the speed for the same internet price when you add Xfinity Mobile. Just imagine, faster downloads, more streaming, the possibilities are endless. That's more speed and more value for the same price. Oh yeah, and for a limited time, ask how to get $300 back. So what are you waiting for? Sign up now because you deserve awesome internet. Go to Xfinity.com, call 1-800-XFINITY, or visit a store today. Requires paperless billing and auto pay, ends 11 21, 21. Restrictions apply. New connect internet, 50 megabits per second customers only. Equipment, taxes, and fees extra, and subject to change. After term, regular rates apply. Hello fans, this is Bradley Stavanaugh with Needville Insurance. We know Fort Bend County. I'm a fourth generation resident of Fort Bend. I'm your local hometown trusted agent. With over 30 carriers and nine auto insurance carriers, we shop the insurance for you. We know insurance is hard. We know it's complicated. We make it easy for you. We have Spanish speakers here available for you. Call us at 979-793-7411 or needvilleinsurance.com. Once again, call us 979-793-7411. All of us love sports, but not all sports are created equal. College sports have big budgets, dedicated alumni networks, and corporate sponsorships. Professional sports have even deeper pockets. Millionaire owners, lucrative TV and radio deals, and merchandise sales. High school sports have you. Everyone agrees high school sports give us plenty of reasons to cheer. And now's a great time for us to give back. Supporting your hometown high school won't cost you much, but it will go a long way to ensuring the games we love the most are here to stay. Texas High School Sports. They're good for our kids, good for our community, and best of all, they're good for you. This message presented by the Texas University Interscholastic League and the Texas High School Athletic Directors Association. Archer Volkswagen Showroom is open, and our team's excited to help you. Visit our sales department Monday through Saturday from 9 a.m. to 9 p.m. Or bring your car in for service from 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. Monday through Friday, and Saturdays from 9 a.m. to 2 p.m. We're closed on Sundays to rest and recharge with our families, so we can serve you well through the week. We hope to see you soon. All right, so game one went to the Panthers 25 to 20. Didn't take too, too long. This match started a little bit after the scheduled 5 p.m. And right now it's 534 according to the time on the lower right corner of my laptop. And Tompkins serves to begin this game. Erica Deleski gets it underway. Kayla Wilson fires one and the freshman, the senior rather, I think the same thing happened in my interview with McKenna Manthe. Uh, during halftime, I guessed wrong on Kayla Wilson's uh, classification. I was only off by three years. She's a senior. And so, one to nothing, Tompkins on top. Now Moore is gonna set it up for Kayla Wilson down the left sideline. Dug out beautifully by Deleski. Now Raspberry with a great dig for Ridgepoint and Kayla Wilson fires it. Hits a block, crawls along the tape, and falls where Rich Point needed it to. On the Tompkins side, it's one to one. The volleyball rolls all the way off the wooden surface here onto the concrete. Lauren Battle comes off the bench. Goes back to get it. Now she's ready to serve. There it goes, deep left corner. Now here comes a very, very high bump over the net. Nina Moore in a skirmish at the net, and it's a point to Tompkins. I'm not sure what Nina did wrong. She might have been called for a lift. It was kind of one against two at the net, and 
The ball was somewhat on the Ridge Point side. Lauren Battles having a hard time getting the ball. They always put a nice felt skirt over these tub tables at courtside. Almost looks like we're ready for a romantic dinner, but no. But if the volleyball gets underneath the table, you can sometimes lose it in all the black felt. All right, there is the serve by Paris Herman. Now Moore, now Robertson, but she fires it out. It's wide, looking for the right sideline and missed it by that much. Tompkins up three to one. They're down one to nothing in the match. They lost game one, 25 to 20. There is the serve by Herman. Moore is gonna set it up for Jordan. Blocked at the net, great save by Tompkins. And now a little tap try by Changwa, and she came up short. That point kept alive by Paris Herman on an amazing return. Raspberry will serve for Ridge Point, and the Panthers trail 3-2. I'll let you know when I see the football team start walking in. Raspberry goes deep to the left corner. Herman bumps it up. Now Ridge Point has it on their side. Moore to Arissa Smith, miss hit. Tompkins handles it, and there's a beautiful, creative two-hander by Changwa. She found an open spot and got it in front of a diving Lauren Battle, and it's 4-2 to Tompkins. Brooklyn Merrill to serve in the gray libero jersey. There it goes, bumped by Battle. Now Moore back sets it for Kayla Wilson, and she's blocked at the net, and it falls on the Ridge Point side. And that brings out a big cheer from Tompkins, and they've had their biggest lead of the match right here, 5-2, to two, early in Game 2. Lauren Bailey up with some words of encouragement, not so much strategy, just saying, you know, come on, we're better than this. Raspberry bumps it over, now here it is, Tompkins on the attack, Changwa. But Moore is there to bump it up with two hands. Now Jordan will take the big swing. Doesn't go over, but now she gets another chance. Changwa bumps it up. Now here we go with the right side offense from Skrbonic. She can't get it down. Tompkins still attacking. Moore bumps it up. Raspberry, Jordan. And it is bumped and bumped wildly. And a winner for Rich Point. Paris Herman got it airborne, but it flew kind of sideways. Ridge Point closes it to five to three. Manthe ready to serve. There goes her serve, deep to the middle. There is Changwa, sends one deep. Manthe bumps it up. Now it's Moorer, she can't get it down either. Galeski bumps it up. Nice block by Moore and Arissa Smith at the net, but Tompkins does keep it off the floor. It's now Jordan. Now Manthe with a quick set, and Tompkins was ready. Now they take the big swing down the right sideline and a winner for Skylar Strabonic. Off of a diving dig attempt by Lauren Battle. It's six to three, Tompkins on top. Presley Powell ready to serve. There it goes, bumped up by Raspberry. Manthe's gonna set it up. Arissa Smith is denied at the net and a point to Tompkins. The Tompkins defense is really in sync, especially with those two player blocks. And they lead it seven to three, matching, actually it's their biggest lead. Raspberry, high into the Raptors. Manthe, now Arissa Smith. Blocked at the net, but uh, no, it wasn't blocked at the net. Wasn't touched, and it flew out of bounds. Eight to three, Tompkins, Ridge Point. Might have a timeout coming here soon. Presley Powell serves again. Jordan, Manthe, now Moorer. Off a block at the net, but Tompkins keeps it airborne. Here they come, Changwa. Blocked at the net, and a winner for Ridge Point. Sydney Jordan and Nina Moorer coming together for a great block. No, that was Sydney and Arissa Smith. Eight to four, Ridge Point trailing, but serving. Jordan, sinking action on that one, but Merrill digs it out. Now Changwa bangs it down to an open spot. 
And we're at nine to four. Tompkins would love to turn this second game into a boat race. They've opened up a five point lead. It's not so loud in here that the players can't talk to each other. The crowd is still fairly small. I have a feeling the crowd will get bigger. Changwa ready to serve for Tompkins. Let's it go, Raspberry leaning back, gets it to Manthe who gets it to Arissa Smith and her bang down is long. Biggest lead of game two, Tompkins is up 10 to four. But Coach Bailey of Ridge Point has not yet used any timeouts. Changwa gets the go ahead. Here's the serve. Kennedy Rogers puts it up there with two hands. Raspberry back to Rogers, but she just bumps it over. And there's great, great job done. Sorry, I didn't call that one very well, but Tendai Titley just surprised everyone. Kind of kept her feet on the floor, hit the ball like right in front of her face with two hands and found an empty spot that there wasn't a lot of velocity on that thing, but it didn't matter. It's a point to Tompkins. They lead by seven. 11 to four and now Rich Point takes that time out. We will be back on VipeFortBend.com. Hi, this is Mariela and Melina coming to you from Nick's Italian restaurant where you can come and try one of our house specialties, the Nick's shrimp or one of our chicken pistachios. Not in the mood for food, you can also try one of our savory desserts like our homemade tiramisu or cannoli. We're located on FM 1464 just north of Austin High School. Can't sign in, you can call ahead at 346-401-1546 seven days a week from 11 a.m. to 10 p.m. Or you can hit us on one of the major delivery platforms, Uber, Grubhub, or DoorDash. We look forward to seeing you here at Nick's Italian Restaurant, where our family gets bigger every time you stop by. All right, Cindy Changwa out of the timeout, fires the serve long, but... I noticed before she hit that serve that there are finally some football players in the building. It's going to get louder and rowdier, I promise you that. Still looking at the end where I expect the Ridgepoint students to be, and I don't see any. High serve by Arissa Smith. Powell back set, and she sets up Tendai Titley, who scores. Coming at you, Mr. Gaines. Assistant Principal Ricardo Gaines of Ridgepoint is sitting next to me, so the ball was rolling toward him, and you know it gets caught under the table, under the tablecloth. Tendai Tetley serves after that great spike. Now Manthe back sets it. Nina Moore gets one. And the beauty of that, it came through so powerfully, and yet she didn't seem to have to swing so hard. It's kind of like just a nice, smooth swing by a batter who sends it over the fence. But still, it's a Tompkins lead of 12 to six. Moore serves. Diving dig by Tompkins. There is Alexis Robertson who swings and it looks like she was gonna hit it more toward the middle and fluke toward the left sideline. Paris Herman was denied a spike winner on some great defense during that point from Ridge Point. It's now 12 to seven. Moore serves again, sends it deep to the middle. Changwa bumps it up. Now Powell, and now it's Herman. And she gets her spike down in front of Sydney Jordan. That makes it 13 to seven. By the way, I don't recognize which Tompkins football players are here, but it looks like at least five. They weren't here before. Erica Daleski serves. Jordan bumps it. Moorer to Alexis Robertson, and it's down. Another one of those quick set, bang down spikes. And it's 13 to eight. Changwa has to go and get the ball that rolled 
off the wooden surface again. Lauren Battle gets another turn at service. There it goes. In the middle, but not deep, Changwa. Now it's Herman, tries to go to the near sideline and she fired it wide. Panthers now within 13 to nine. And Lauren Battle ready to serve again. She spins it and puts it in the air. No spin whatsoever on it. And a battle at the net, Ridgepoint wins it. Robertson and Kayla Wilson right there together. And it was a lift on the part of Tompkins and a timeout taken by Tompkins. Ridgepoint has gotten within 13 to 10. We'll step aside and be back. This is VibeFortBend.com. Hello fans, this is Bradley Stavanaugh with Needville Insurance. We know Fort Bend County. I'm a fourth generation resident of Fort Bend. I'm your local hometown trusted agent. With over 30 carriers and nine auto insurance carriers, we shop the insurance for you. We know insurance is hard. We know it's complicated. We make it easy for you. We have Spanish speakers here available for you. Call us at 979-793-7411 or needvilleinsurance.com. Once again, call us 979-793-7411. First Iron Automotive heard you were thinking of starting your holiday shopping earlier this year, so the season of giving starts now. $15 off oil changes, $100 off four tires, and save on just about any service. Head to the website firstironauto.com and claim your savings. First Iron Automotive, a proud sponsor of Fort Bend Vibe Sports. Make your appointment today at any of the four convenient locations in Sugarland and Cinco Ranch. All four stores open on Saturday. FirstIronAuto.com. Well, Tompkins took a timeout to try to slow the Ridgepoint momentum. They had gotten it within 13 to 10, and now it's 13 to 11 as a spike attempt by Tompkins goes long. Lauren Battle continuing to serve. This is the fourth straight point that she has served. Sends it to the back left corner. Herman dug it out, but on the offense for Tompkins. A wild miss hit, but it works out for the Falcons. And Natasha Baptiste is smiling about it. That's not exactly what she meant to do. It kind of came off the side of her fist, but somehow it landed within the boundary, and it's now 14 to 11. Herman serves, and it lands in front of Lauren Battle. There was some sinking action on that that she underestimated and it's 15 to 11. Paris Herman to serve again. There it goes, dug out by Raspberry. Moore sends it back to the middle. Raspberry's just gonna have to bump it over. Tompkins has a chance to really attack right here. There's a big swing blocked at the net. Skylar Strabonic was denied and Kayla Wilson put it right back in her face. Ridge Point gets within three again, 15 to 12. Raspberry will serve. Runs toward the baseline and lets it fly far sideline. Tompkins doesn't dig it out in a very accurate way. Now Ridge Point can attack more. Jordan goes sideways and it's in there. She took a little something off of it to make sure it was accurate. A point for the Panthers and they get within two, it's 15 to 13. Raspberry serves again with Todd Freed and his camera behind her. There it goes. And there's a big swing by Changwa and it goes off of Kayla Wilson. A nice block attempt by Kayla, but it did not work out for Ridgepoint. It's 16 to 13, Tompkins. Brooklyn Merrill will serve. Titley and Changwa right there in the middle, standing by the net. Bumped up by Battle. Moore sends it to Jordan. Goes down the far sideline, and it's good. Point to the Panthers. Tompkins trying to buy a call, but the officials were all over it. They were unanimous. And it's a two-point game again, 16-14. McKenna Manthe comes off the bench. Kayla Wilson takes a break. Maybe a Manthe service run can get Rich Point back in the lead. There he goes. Herman sets it up for Skrabonic. Cannot get it down. 
Manthe sets up Jordan. She is blocked at the net. Beautiful defense by Tendai Titley. And the lead is back up to three, 17-14. Presley Powell comes off the bench. She's ready to serve. Raspberry bumps it. Now Manthe sets it up for Moore. She's not close to the net, so there's not a lot of hot sauce on that one. Here comes Tonquins. Uh, Changwa sends it up, blocked at the net by Ridgepoint. Moore gets a big swing, and it gets down. The block attempt by Tompkins kind of helped Nina out. The ball kind of tipped up there, kind of like a, a pass that just was tipped into an open area where nobody was there to intercept it. Again, it's a two-point deficit, 17-15, and Jordan serves her serve is long. 18-15, Tompkins goes back up by three. Cindy Changwa ready to serve, and remember, Archer Volkswagen, south southbound side of Highway 59, just inside the Sam Houston Tollway, is ready to serve you. They've been open since 1956. You will feel like family at Archer Volkswagen. We'll be right back. All of us love sports, but not all sports are created equal. College sports have big budgets, dedicated alumni networks, and corporate sponsorships. Professional sports have even deeper pockets. Millionaire owners, lucrative TV and radio deals, and merchandise sales. High school sports have you. Everyone agrees high school sports give us plenty of reasons to cheer. And now's a great time for us to give back. Supporting your hometown high school won't cost you much, but it will go a long way to ensuring the games we love the most are here to stay. Texas High School Sports. They're good for our kids, good for our community, and best of all, they're good for you. This message presented by the Texas University Interscholastic League and the Texas High School Athletic Directors Association. Back to live action. Tompkins sends it deep to the baseline, but Ridgepoint there with the defense. McKinney Manthe, McKenna Manthe with a Kennedy Rogers. And now it's Tompkins attacking. Presley Powell keeps one alive. Saba battling at the net. Now it's on the Ridgepoint side. And a little tap down by Kennedy Rogers, the freshman. And that gets it back to a two-point lead, 18 to 16. Rich Point has been just a few points behind Tompkins throughout this game, too. But the Panthers did win game one, 25 to 20. Arissa Smith off the bench and ready to serve. There it goes. Bumps up by Herman. Now it'll be Saba blocked at the net, and it flies over the Ridge Point bench off of the uh, Ridge Point block. So it's a point to Tompkins one more time, 19-16. Titley will serve. There it goes. High velocity, Rogers, now Manthe, now Moorer. Goes cross court, but dug out by Tompkins. The ball isn't in an advantageous spot for him. In fact, it's a point to the Panthers because they tried to serve it basically around the red and white pin. In tennis, you can hit it around the net, but in volleyball, you can't do that. Even if the ball is way, way above the top of the net. So we're back to a two-point deficit. Can Ridge Point close it to one and then tie it? We'll see. Borer serves. Bumped up by Changwa. Now Powell. Now Saba down the right sideline, but returned by Raspberry. Rogers and Moore. Yes, it's a one point game. 19 18. That brought the Ridge Point crowd to life. We're inside the Merrill Center, third round of the Class 6A volleyball playoffs. Ridge Point has been to the state semifinals and to the finals in the last three seasons. Powell sets up. Herman, it's a bump way up into the rafters. Now Moore, now Carrington Cook onto the floor for the first time. Now Tompkins trying to attack and they get one down. 
Big swing and it works for Nastasha Baptiste. Actually, I, it's just Natasha, not Nastasha. And that gets Tompkins back into a two-point lead, 20 to 18. And they serve it with Erica Dileski. With her feet on the floor, Raspberry, now Moore, now Robertson. No denying that when they did block it. Uh, but it's, it's a point to the Panthers. She banged it down off of the fists of Paris Herman and it flew out of bounds. Josie Condry comes in for Ridge Point for the first time. And maybe she can serve Ridge Point into a tie. They trail 20 to 19. There goes her serve. Big swing by Herman, blocked at the net, and it got down in front of Condry. Sometimes the block just takes all the steam out of the ball and makes it impossible to dig for the people playing in the back. Paris Herman spins it and sends it, and it is long. Condry, great judgment, it's out. And it wasn't out by much, but that's the experience of playing volleyball so much. Ball actually bounced up into the stands. Raspberry will serve and try to get Ridge Point into a tie. It's 21 to 20. Tompkins in the second game. Ridge Point won the first one. Sinker ball served by Raspberry. Now big swing by Changwa. Now Moore. Now Jordan off the block, but Tompkins is able to send it back. Here they go with Changwa. Hits it long. Point to the Panthers, and we're tied at 21. And the players on the bench jumping up and down, squealing with delight. Raspberry looking like a very cool and calm and collected pitcher. She serves it. Here's the setup for Dileski. And it lands on the Tompkins side. Blocked both. It was both Jordan and Arissa Smith with a great block. And for the first time in this game, Ridge Point has the lead 22 to 21. Tompkins wants to take a timeout and talk about it. We shall return. Hi, this is Mariela and Melina coming to you from Nick's Italian Restaurant where you can come and try one of our house specialties, the Nick's Shrimp or one of our chicken pistachios. Not in the mood for food, you can also try one of our savory desserts like our homemade tiramisu or cannoli. We're located on FM 1464 just north of Austin High School. Can't sign in, you can call ahead at 346-401-1546 seven days a week from 11 a.m. to 10 p.m. Or you can hit us on one of the major delivery platforms, Uber, Grubhub, or DoorDash. We look forward to seeing you here at Nick's Italian Restaurant, where our family gets bigger every time you stop by. Ridge Point fans, we told you earlier, in case you missed it, if Ridge Point can win this match and another one on Friday night, we will join them in Huntsville for the regional final. That'll happen at high noon on Saturday. Coming out of the, the timeout, Tompkins gets the point. Blocked at the net by Ridge Point, but the ball just died and fell into an open spot. It's 22 to 22. Brooklyn Merrill ready, serves it. Raspberry bumps it. Now Moore sets it up. It'll be Jordan with a big swing, blocked at the net. Tried tap down by Tompkins. Carrington Cook with a huge hit. She backhanded it with the side of her fist. Tompkins wasn't expecting that. They had to dive for it. They got a piece of it, but then it just flew out of bounds. Rich Point leading 23 to 22, and McKenna Manthe coming on to try and close out the second game. There goes her serve, no spin whatsoever. It's gonna be a big swing by Dileski, but Ridge Point is there to block it. There's another one, and Tompkins ties it. Skyler Skrbonik with the winner off the block at the net. Nothing that Tompkins hits with those spike attempts above the net comes through clean. Powell serves. Bumped up by Condry. Now Manthe. Now Moore. And she gets the winner. She's blocked at the net, but it falls on the Tompkins side. 
Tendai Titley got a piece of it, but now it is 24-23 Ridge Point on top. Sidney Jordan ready to serve. Kennedy Rogers comes onto the court and they had to make sure they followed the right procedure. Condry takes a seat. Rogers out there. Jordan trying to finish off game two. There goes her serve. Bumped up. Now it is Changwa. Two hands in front of her face. It's Jordan. Now she gets it back and just tries to bump it over. Tompkins is there with the defense. Changwa, big swing and gets it down. We're tied at 24. No denying that one. Too hot to handle. It's 24 all and you have to win by two to capture a game if it's game one through four. Changwa from the middle. Flies it. Bumped up by Raspberry. Manthe, Alyssa Smith, a winner for Ridge Point. They lead by one, 25-24. Alexis Robertson comes on. Arissa Smith goes back to the baseline and will serve. One more would capture game two and give him an idea for a sweep. Arissa lets it go. Merrill serves it almost into the net. But Ridge Point somehow ends up with it. McKenna Matthew Moore blocked. Jordan saves it. Now Arissa Smith. Now it is Kennedy Rogers. Bang down, that'll do. She swung as hard as she could and she got every bit of it. And that ends it. Ends game two, that is, 26-24. Exciting action on VitefortBend.com. If Ridge Point can win one of the next three, then they'll be heading for the regional semifinals. We'll be back on VitefortBend.com. You work hard, so you deserve the good things in life, like getting an amazing deal on awesome Internet. That's why there's never been a better time to switch to Xfinity. Get the fast and reliable internet you deserve for $19.99 a month for 12 months with a one-year contract. And for the first time ever, ask how to get 12 times the speed for the same internet price when you add Xfinity Mobile. Just imagine, faster downloads, more streaming, the possibilities are endless. That's more speed and more value for the same price. Oh yeah, and for a limited time, ask how to get $300 back. So what are you waiting for? Sign up now because you deserve awesome internet. Go to Xfinity.com, call 1-800-XFINITY, or visit a store today. Requires paperless billing and auto pay, ends 11 21, 21. Restrictions apply. New connect internet 50 megabits per second customers only. Equipment, taxes, and fees extra, and subject to change. After term, regular rates apply. Hello fans, this is Bradley Stavanaugh with Needville Insurance. We know Fort Bend County. I'm a fourth generation resident of Fort Bend. I'm your local hometown trusted agent. With over 30 carriers and nine auto insurance carriers, we shop the insurance for you. We know insurance is hard. We know it's complicated. We make it easy for you. We have Spanish speakers here available for you. Call us at 979-793-7411 or needvilleinsurance.com. Once again, call us 979-793-7411. Archer Volkswagen Showroom is open, and our team's excited to help you. Visit our sales department Monday through Saturday from 9 a.m. to 9 p.m. Or bring your car in for service from 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. Monday through Friday, and Saturdays from 9 a.m. to 2 p.m. We're closed on Sundays to rest and recharge with our families, so we can serve you well through the week. We hope to see you soon. First Star and Automotive heard you were thinking of starting your holiday shopping earlier this year, so the season of giving starts now. $15 off oil changes, $100 off four tires, and save on just about any service. Head to the website firsttireandauto.com and claim your savings. First Star and Automotive, a proud sponsor of Fort Bend Vibe Sports. Make your appointment today at any of the four convenient locations in Sugarland and Cinco Ranch. All four stores open on Saturday. Firsttireandauto.com. Don't miss the UIL Volleyball State Tournament starting Wednesday, November 17th at the Curtis Colwell Center in Garland. Ticket information and more can be found at UILTexas.org. Rich Point playing tonight against a fine Tompkins team in the regional quarterfinal, but they're doing just fine so far. They won game one 25-20 and won game two 26-24. 
So if they do win this one, then their next opponent would be either Clear Creek or Dawson. Dawson favored in the match between those two teams. 39 and four is the Dawson record going in and they're ranked third in the state. All right, Tompkins will try to rescue this game three. Sidney Jordan bumps it from the middle of the baseline. Kenny Rogers with the first big swing of the game three, but it comes back over. Now Raspberry, now Carrington Cook, and she gets a winner. Off the outstretched fingertips of Erica Daleski and flying over the Tompkins bench. One to nothing. And that looked like it might have been out, but they chose to return it with Titley. Now it is Robertson to Moore. Back to Robertson. Bang down spike. Two to nothing. Ridgepoint on top. I think if Ridgepoint gets to next one, we'll probably see Allison Merrill call an earlier than usual timeout for the Tompkins Falcons just to somehow slow the Ridgepoint momentum. I think they're full of confidence after having won the first two games. Moore serves. Now there's the big swing by Skylar Skrabonic. Can't get it down. Now it's Kennedy Rogers. Just taps it over. Dances on the top of the net. Now it's Robertson. Now Moore. And she just taps it over and it finds a four. A winner for Ridgepoint. It is three to nothing. Nina Moore looks over at head coach Lauren Bailey and serves for the third time in this game. Bumped up by Titley, look out. And an almost save by Ridgepoint. Moore went flying for the ball and actually hit Carrington Cook in the side of the face and she apologized and of course Carrington said, no apology necessary or something to that effect. Tompkins gets the first point of this, their, their first point of this game three and they trail three to one Paris Herman leaps and serves Jordan sends it to Moore now all the way across to Cook and it's out she was going for the left sideline and this game is now at three to two Tompkins trailing and Herman continues serving there it goes Jordan digs it out now Moore now Rogers but somehow it was dug out by Tompkins, but it flew beyond the boundary. That was an amazing dig, but it didn't do any harm to the ridge point cause. I mean, it was such a hard spike and it was dug so well that it flew all the way over the net and the ridge point players and the baseline. Four to two ridge point, Josie Condry comes off the bench. Now she serves and there's a try by Baptiste. She cannot get it down. Back set by Raspberry. Carrington Cook with a bang down, but it's brought up by Tompkins. Here they come. Changwa way up into the rafters. Condry, now Moore. Now Robertson just bumps it gently for a change. And we got a point for the Panthers because of a violation. Two hits by one player on the Tompkins side. Five to two Panthers. They're trying to get the sweep here. Josie Condry ready and serves. Top spin, sent back by Daleski, and now a beautiful Changwa spike that went from the left side to the right. That gets the Falcons within five to three. And Brooklyn Merrill will serve. Taking her time, now taking her shot. There it goes, Condry bumps it. Moore over to Jordan. Jordan is blocked at the net. Now Tompkins will respond. Changwa and a whistle. Point to the Panthers. A lift or a two hit. A double hit on the part of Tompkins. Six to three, Ridge Point. Now Raspberry, who was wearing the white libero jersey, now wearing the purple one for this game three. Side spin. Daleski's going to set it up in a big swing blocked. Now it's on the Carrington Cook side for Ridge Point. Bumped way up into the rafters by Chongwa. She gets it back. Spikes. 
dug out by Condry. Some great defense here. Now Cook, she's blocked at the net. It goes up in the air. Dug out by Merrill. Now Changwa for Tompkins, but Ridgepoint returns. Cook for Ridgepoint, and it's wide. Wait a minute, they called a two hit? It was a double hit called on Ridgepoint. But the Panthers still lead it here in game three, six to four. They've won the first two games. Presley Powell will serve for Tompkins from the middle of the baseline. Bumped up by Jordan Moore. Now Arissa Smith. She is denied at the net. Merrill bumps it up. Now it's on the Ridge Point side. Raspberry tries one of those clever little two-handers, and it works. Titley did get a hand on it, but she couldn't get it high enough in the air where another Tompkins teammate could come along and save it. Ridge Point up now 7-4, and McKenna Manthe on to serve. Manthe with top spin. Tompkins ready to return it. And Herman way long on the big swing. And a point to the Panthers. Eight to four, Ridgepoint leads. Tompkins takes a timeout. This is rightfortbend.com. Panthers going for the sweep. First Star and Automotive heard you were thinking of starting your holiday shopping earlier this year, so the season of giving starts now. $15 off oil changes, $100 off four tires, and save on just about any service. Head to the website firsttireandauto.com and claim your savings. First Star and Automotive, a proud sponsor of Fort Bend Vibe Sports. Make your appointment today at any of the four convenient locations in Sugarland and Cinco Ranch. All four stores open on Saturday. Firsttireandauto.com. They always play good music here inside the Merrill Center. That was the Neutron Dance by the Pointer Sisters from the Beverly Hills Cop soundtrack. Eight to four, Ridge Point, McKenna Manthe serves. Coming out of the timeout, Presley Powell sets it up. Titley, great save by Condry. Now here's a big swing by Jordan, but an even better block by Changwa. And a point to Tompkins makes it eight six. Correction, eight five. Changwa, who came up with that great block, now rotates in to serve. Here it comes, and she flies it out. Beyond the baseline and a break for the Panthers. They lead it 9-5 now. 6-3, Sydney Jordan ready to serve. Arissa Smith is 6-2, and Alexis Robertson, they don't list her height. But she looks a little bit taller than Sydney. Service error by Jordan. Gets Tompkins within nine to six and Titley will serve. It's on its way. Jordan, now Manthe, all the way across the court for Arissa Smith, who hit it wide. Wait a minute. And it was off of Tompkins' fingertips. So it's a point to the Panthers. And Ridge Point will take it. Alexis Robertson comes in. I'm trying to guess her height. I need her to stand right next to Sydney Jordan and stand up straight, both of them. Now the officials are going to talk about it. Well, I guess there's nothing in dispute here. It did go off of Tompkins' fingertips, although I do see that Paris Herman, captain of the team, comes over to talk to referee one. That's the one who's up in the stand who looks atop the net. And it is a point to the Panthers. The appeal was denied, and it's 10 to six. Now Arissa Smith goes back to the baseline. Beyond it. Actually, she's back at the basketball baseline. 
Takes a little hop, skip, and a jump, and miss hits it. Doesn't even get to the net. Raspberry comes off the bench as Arissa kind of slinks back there. It's okay, Arissa, it happens. Dulesky to serve for Tompkins. Kennedy Rogers has it go back behind her head. Jordan saves it. Rogers does get it over. Tompkins go on the attack. Dulesky sets it up, and Baptiste can't get it down. Now Ridgepoint on the attack. Kennedy Rogers. Now it's on the Tompkins side. Look out. Big swings for Bonnick, and it ends up a winner. Bounces off Ridgepoint hands and out of bounds. Panthers still lead it by a score of 10 to 8. Dulesky ready to serve. There it goes, far sideline. Kennedy Rogers now to Manthe, back to Rogers. Off fingertips of the net, but saved by Chongwa. And Paris Herman goes at a very shallow angle, but what a great shot. Alexis Robertson got a piece of it, and she was not able to knock it back onto the Tompkins side. And Tompkins is now within one point at 10 to nine. Dulesky serves deep. Jordan, Manthe, Robertson, but she's dug out by Dulesky. Here comes Tompkins down the far sideline. Raspberry saved it. And a battle at the net. And there is a violation, I believe, or maybe maybe uh, what Sidney Jordan did to keep the point alive, hit the ball off the red and white antenna. But Rich Point's laughing about it. However, we are tied at 10. Another Dulesky serve. Now it's a big high set for Moore. Point for the Panthers. <laughs> 11 to 10. Ridge Point leads it, and Moore will serve. There it goes. It's deep. Bumped up by Titley. Now to Dulesky. And there is Herman who fires one long. Moore still serving and Rich Point has built a 12-10 lead. If they capture this game three, they are moving on to the regional semifinals. Kennedy Rogers ends up a winner on that point. It was one of those high oversets. She waited at the net. She couldn't really come down through with her hands. She would have touched the net and gotten a violation, but the ball ended up landing where it was a ridge point point, and it's 13 to 10. Moore serves. Left sideline, now Tompkins trying to send it back. Herman off of ridge point hands and out of bounds. A winner for the Falcons to get them within 13 to 12. Paris Herman has the volleyball, looks over at Coach Allison Merrill. There it goes, bumped up by Jordan. She overset it, look out, but Tompkins hits it out. That would have been easy, but they hit it long. And it's 14-11 Ridge Point. Josie Condry back in. It's Condry, Robertson, Jordan, Cook, Battle and Raspberry for the Panthers. Not a very good dig on the serve by Condry. And Tompkins gives up another point. Now they're down 15 to 11. Condry looked just to the side right before she served. Now Tompkins trying to return it. And there is a spike that goes long. Skyler Skrabonic just long by inches, but you know, close only counts in horseshoes and hand grenades. And it's 16 to 11 Ridge Point. Condry continues serving. There it goes. Titley bumps it up. She gets it back. Her cross court spike dug out by Raspberry. Now Carrington Cook trying to find an open spot. Tompkins there with the defense. They just bump it over. Now Condry. Now Moore. Now Jordan. Score to the floor. Sydney Jordan makes it 17 to 11. And the Ridge Point Panther girls are feeling it right now. Timeout, Tompkins will be back. This is VikeFortBend.com. Panthers on a roll. 
You work hard, so you deserve the good things in life, like getting an amazing deal on awesome internet. That's why there's never been a better time to switch to Xfinity. Get the fast and reliable internet you deserve for $19.99 a month for 12 months with a one-year contract. And for the first time ever, ask how to get 12 times the speed for the same internet price when you add Xfinity Mobile. Just imagine, faster downloads, more streaming, the possibilities are endless. That's more speed and more value for the same price. Oh yeah, and for a limited time, ask how to get $300 back. So what are you waiting for? Sign up now because you deserve awesome internet. Go to Xfinity.com, call 1-800-XFINITY, or visit a store today. Requires paperless billing and auto pay and 112121. Restrictions apply. New Connect Internet 50 megabits per second customers only. Equipment, taxes, and fees extra and subject to change. After term, regular rates apply. The Ridge Point Panther girls are eight points away from the Sweet 16 in the state of Texas Class 6A Volleyball. Josie Condry serves again. Titley bumps it over to Dileski. Changwa can't make the big swing. Now it is Jordan, high in the rafters for Cook. She cannot make the big swing. And there is a block at the net by Ridge Point, but Tompkins still with a chance. Condry digs it out near the baseline. Here comes Ridge Point attacking. Jordan blocked at the net, way up in the air. Robertson, yes! 18 to 11. It's dark outside, but it's still early, and Ridge Point may go home uh, and be able to get to, you know, make their usual bedtime. Dileski setting it up. Changwa, big swing, blocked, and Condry bumps it up. Moore, now Jordan, and it's up in the air on the Tompkins side. Now Changwa can only just bump it over. Now it is Moore setting it up for Robertson. A little skirmish at the net, pinball going on. Changwa bumps it way up. Now she'll get it back and try to spike it, and that's a winner for Tompkins. Off of Jordan and then Condry and then flew past the basketball baseline. A lot of hot sauce on that one, but it's still a six-point Ridge Point lead, 18 to 12, trying to get the sweep in this regional quarterfinal against a very tough opponent in the Tompkins Falcons. Brooklyn Merrill serves, and it's out. Point to the Panthers, 19-12, they are six points away from the Sweet 16. Nyla Raspberry will serve. And there it goes. Bumped up by Changwa. They send it back to Changwa. Big swing, Condry bumps it up. Moorer, now Cook. That is gonna go off of a hand of Tompkins and into the stands at the baseline, and it's another Ridge Point winner. 20 to 12 is the score. Raspberry ready, here comes her serve. No spin whatsoever, bumped up by Herman. Now it's gonna be Scrabonic to try to get a winner. And what's the call here? It's gonna be a uh, point to Tompkins. Arissa Smith did something against the rules. I don't know what it was. They held up six fingers. But she's a good girl. Okay, 20 to 13. Tompkins trailing and serving off the top of the net. Great save by Condry. Moore to Jordan and down to the floor. Twenty-one, thirteen, Rich Point. Four more points is what they need. McKenna Manthe comes off the bench to serve. Here we go. Gets it down with a lot of hot sauce. Tough for Tompkins to return. They do get it over. However, Titley bumps it. Condry and some miscommunication by Rich Point, and the ball fell on their side. I don't think they expected that ball to come back because McKenna Manthe hit the hardest serve I think we've seen tonight. And Tompkins was in desperation, but they got it over somehow, and Ridge Point just wasn't ready. It's 21 to 14. Changwa serves, and into the net. Makes it 22 to 14. Ridge Point three points away from knocking off the team from 196A. These are two top seeds from their competitive districts. 
Jordan spins it, looks over at Coach Bailey. Now she leaps and serves. Bumped up by Herman. Now Powell back to Herman, and she spikes one down. 22 to 15 as Tompkins gets that point and gets the serve back with Tendai Titley. I had not had a chance to see Tompkins play since back on August 20th when Ridgepoint swept them. I would not have imagined that Ridgepoint was going to sweep them again, but they have a great chance to do it. Manthe sets it up. Arissa Smith taps it in. A finesse point, and it makes it 23 to 15. This Tompkins crowd is stunned, I think. I believe they felt like they had improved enough where they could overcome Ridgepoint but it's the Panthers who have dominated tonight. Arissa Smith serves, needing two points to win this game three and sweep it. And there is a tip try that goes out. It's a point to the Panthers and this is match point. It was Natasha Baptiste who got a piece of it. It was a good idea, but it was out by a foot and a half. And here we go, Arissa Smith to try and serve it out. It's on its way, bumped up, here comes Tompkins. Powell sets it up for Herman, and she saves a match point with a spike. Got it down clean through the ridge point block, 24-16. Tompkins has to find a way to score eight more points in a row, though. Erica Dulesky to serve. Ridge point ready to try and convert this match point. Bumped up, now it's Manthe, setting it up for Nina Moore. She's blocked at the net, it's still on the ridge point side. Kennedy Rogers bumps it over. Jordan with a save, and a save by Manthe. Raspberry gets it back over, now Tompkins will attack. Dileski sets it up for Herman, still alive on the ridge point side. Raspberry, now Rogers, the point continues. Tompkins, Dileski, and blocked by Moore at the net. Now it's back on the Tompkins side, Dileski back set. And Skrabonic tries to save it. Now Raspberry, one more to get it over for Ridgepoint. Moore does. Here we go. Dileski sets it up. Block down. Ridgepoint wins. Alexis Robertson with a block down, and that puts it away. 25-16, the final in game three. Well, the Ridge Point girls came in here to the Merrill Center, and I don't know what they were thinking. I don't know that they would honestly tell me exactly what they were thinking. However, I was thinking this will probably go four, could go five. We might be here a long time. But it didn't take very long at all. It took less than an hour and a half for the Ridge Point girls to get the victory by scores of 25-20. 26-24 and 25-16. And guess who's here? Rick LaFavors, head football coach. He's taken a picture along with several other guys and the lovely and talented Evelyn Torres, the girls' campus athletic coordinator for Rich Point and the head soccer coach. Oh, you gotta be proud of those girls. They were dominant, they were outstanding. And I'm sure there's gonna be a lot of video courtesy of Todd Freed and H-Town High School Sports which you can watch on AT&T Sportsnet. We'll step aside and be back, maybe get a post-match interview. Ridge Point wins. We'll be right back. Hello, fans. This is Bradley Stavanaugh with Needville Insurance. We know Fort Bend County. I'm a fourth-generation resident of Fort Bend. I'm your local, hometown, trusted agent. With over 30 carriers and nine auto insurance carriers, we shop the insurance for you. We know insurance is hard. We know it's complicated. We make it easy for you. We have Spanish speakers here available for you. Call us at 979-793-7411 or needvilleinsurance.com. Once again, call us 979-793-7411. Archer Volkswagen showroom is open and our team's excited to help you. Visit our sales department Monday through Saturday from 9 a.m. to 9 p.m. Or bring your car in for service from 7 a.m. to 7 p.m., Monday through Friday, and Saturdays from 9 a.m. to 2 p.m. We're closed on Sundays to rest and recharge with our families, so we can serve you well through the week. We hope to see you soon. 
Hi, this is Mariela and Melina coming to you from Nick's Italian restaurant where you can come and try one of our house specialties, the Nick's shrimp or one of our chicken pistachios. Not in the mood for food? You can also try one of our savory desserts like our homemade tiramisu or cannoli. We're located on FM 1464 just north of Austin High School. Can't sign in? You can call ahead at 346-401-1546 seven days a week from 11 a.m. to 10 p.m. Or you can hit us on one of the major delivery platforms, Uber, Grubhub, or DoorDash. We look forward to seeing you here at Nick's Italian Restaurant, where our family gets bigger every time you stop by. First Star and Automotive heard you were thinking of starting your holiday shopping earlier this year, so the season of giving starts now. $15 off oil changes, $100 off four tires, and save on just about any service. Head to the website firsttireandauto.com and claim your savings. First Star and Automotive, a proud sponsor of Fort Bend Vibe Sports. Make your appointment today at any of the four convenient locations in Sugarland and Cinco Ranch. All four stores open on Saturday. Firsttireandauto.com. We're back inside the Merrill Center and it's a triumphant Ridgepoint Panthers volleyball team and Nyla Raspberry, senior libero is here and I just couldn't help but notice you don't have a lot of sweat. Just a little maybe maybe on the top of your forehead. Uh, I'm going to inject you with some truth serum right here. There okay. we go. And uh, tell me, did you really think you would sweep this Tompkins Falcons team? I wasn't sure. Um, honestly, not really. We had swept them before at the beginning of our season. I remember I was there. Yeah. <laughs> um, and we knew that they were going to be coming at us stronger tonight. Um, but I'm just really proud of us for the way it turned out. So, Well, the next matchup is going to be against either Clear Creek or Dawson. Mm -hmm. And, you know, if the rankings are accurate, Dawson certainly has to be the favorite. Mm -hmm. And uh, I don't know if you've gotten a chance to play them and or watch them and are they playing tomorrow night and if so do you think you'll kind of make the trip out there to see what they can do um yes tomorrow night i'm pretty sure they play at clear creek if i'm not wrong at 5 30 and majority of us are going to go and watch so well i've made a promise to our listeners if if you can win on friday night against either uh clear creek or dawson mm -hmm. that means you play saturday at sam houston mm -hmm. right well, VibeFortBend.com will be there. If you're there Saturday, so are we. Thank you. <laughs> so is there anything about tonight's match that kind of surprised you? Anything that, that worked even better than you thought it would or something that you thought um, Tompkins might be able to do but they weren't able to do? Um, not really. I think we went and practiced this past week, you know, just anticipating playing them if we, you know, kept winning. Um, working really hard on different shots that would score on them, watching film constantly. Um, I'm just really proud that we were able to actually play the game plan. So. Well, I'm, I'm glad that you were able to win. I'm glad you were able to do it very quickly. And I think that it really kind of helps you recharge the batteries mm -hmm. and be super ready for Friday night when it comes. And one final question I noticed. You were wearing the white libero jersey mm -hmm. the first two games. Mm -hmm. You wore purple for the third. Mm -hmm. Is there anything to read into that? Um, no. Sid got blood on my jersey, blood. so I like tucked it in. Sydney Jordan. Yes, <laughs> wow. I tucked it in, and then when the set was over, I just changed. So. But it was her own blood. Yes, it was I hers. Didn't, I didn't see anything out there that I thought would draw blood, but yeah. I guess <laughs> I'm just not close enough to see that kind of thing. <laughs> Well, we're very happy for you, and uh, congratulations, and uh, let me ask, I just thought of one more question. Okay. I always think of one more question. Thursday night, the Ridgepoint boys have the football playoff against Seven Lakes. Mm -hmm. Are you going to go to the game and enjoy it, or are you going to stay home and rest? Um, probably going to go to the game and enjoy it just because some of them were here tonight supporting us, so just showing the support back. Well, maybe they'll get a big lead early and then yeah. you can go home before it's over. <laughs> yeah. All right. Thank you very much, thank Nyla. You. Congratulations. Thank you. All right. So, again, our final scores, 25 to 20, 26 to 24, and 25-16. Here at the Merrill Center, the Ridgepoint Panther girls come in and dominate the Tompkins Falcons, and Ridgepoint improves to, uh, let's see, uh, what's their record now? Uh, i I got to check it out. It's 36 and 10. And so, on Friday night, they're going to be in San, at uh, Sam Houston State University in Huntsville in the Johnson Coliseum, taking on either Clear Creek or Dawson. And then beyond that, if they can survive Friday night, it'll be either Katie, 
Cinco Ranch, by the way, those two play right here at the Merrill Center tomorrow night, Deer Park, or Clear Springs. And then if they can survive Saturday, it's on to Garland. All right, Roger Smith, thank you very much for being with us. Also, Rosie Bega, our producer. Thank you so much, Merle Bertrand, everyone on the Vibe team. Good night from the Merrill Center, and we will talk to you on Thursday night at 645, countdown to kickoff show preceding Ridgepoint playoff football against Seven Lakes. Good night, everybody.